Hi, my name is Teresa Kovlek, and I have been working on some water lilies. So I thought I'd show you how I did these. The first thing you, that you will be needing is some alcohol ink. The alcohol ink that I use is made by Ranger, and I will be using a wide variety of colors, so I will leave that in the description down below. So the other thing you will need is something to paint on. And what I am painting on is called craft plastic. I buy it in a 12 by 12 and then I just cut it down to the size that I'm looking for. So I cut this piece down to a six by six and that's what size I'm going to be painting today. The other thing that you will need is a couple of paint brushes and let's go ahead and get started here. I am using the 99% alcohol. That's what's in my little bottle here. I just repurposed the uh, Ranger blending solution bottles. If you don't have any of the 99% alcohol, you can just go ahead and use a uh, Ranger blending solution. So I'm just gonna sprinkle some ink on that's denim that I'm putting on, a little cloudy blue, a little aqua, and I think I'm going to go ahead and add a little meadow and a little willow. And now I'm just going to sprinkle some of that 99% alcohol. I'm going to give my paper a little tip. I'm going to grab my fan brush, dip it in some alcohol just so it's wet, wipe it down on the paper towel, and just kind of pull my ink across. I just kind of pull it, let the colors just kind of do their thing. Make sure my page is covered. And then I'm going to blow it down just a little bit with the heat gun uh, just to dry it down so we can go ahead and keep moving. And I hold my heat gun about five to six inches back. I don't put it too close because I don't want to ripple my paper. Um, I do find that the craft plastic will take the heat better than Yupo, but I still don't want to uh, chance bending it up. Then I'm going to use, it's called an alcohol ink blending pen, and this is made by Ranger. And I'm gonna go ahead and use this to uh, clean what I'm going to basically be doing is cleaning out some of that paint or some of the alcohol ink pulling it out with my blending pen uh, so I can put my flower in so go ahead and put the flower right about here and I'm putting my center petal in first now if I want to do a white flower, then I will just take and use my blending pen and make my flower with this. And I will use the colors that come in as the shading for the flower. Because it's not going to be pure white, it's going to have some highlights and shadows on it. So I'm just going on both sides and just kind of bringing in my branch, um, my petals. And you can see on that one there, it has a little bit too much alcohol. So no big deal. We'll just make the point a little bit better. And if you don't have one of these pens, what else will work 
is this is called um, Fantastic, and it comes in a pack of six. You can pick this up at Hobby Lobby or online. And what I do is I just dip it into my alcohol, my 99% alcohol, and then I come over here and I can just pull out the ink. And then I wipe the ink off on my paper towel. So if you don't have that, I'm sure you have one of these Q-tips at home. And I like to pull off the end. Uh, you can buy the Q-tips in the pointy. Um, I just use these ones. They work well for me. And you can take and wipe in your flower with the Q-tip. The other thing you can use is a brush. And I'll take and dip my brush into the 99% alcohol, wipe it on my paper towel, and then I can paint in. And what I'm actually doing is stripping the ink out that is on the paper. So we're just going to go ahead and go back to the blending pen that I was using. We'll get rest of these petals in. And they don't have to be perfect because I am going to make this a, um, a colorful flower. So I'm just trying to kind of figure out where I want everything. And then I'll go ahead and put in a reflection into the water. And this one is a little big, but that's okay. And I'm going to come back with the paintbrush and the colors, so I'm not real worried about my edges on my flowers right now. And if you get a little too much alcohol, just give it a little blow. So I am definitely a fan of Claude Monet. I actually named my youngest daughter after Claude, so her name is Monet. All right, that looks pretty good. And then we're going to kind of figure out where we kind of want our water uh, lily pads. So I'm going to clean off my brush because it had some color left over on it. And I'm going to go ahead and pick up a little bit of Limeade. So it's just going to kind of be kind of like a smushed oval. So we don't want it round because we're not looking straight down. We want to smush our lily pad because you're looking at it sideways. And then maybe we'll do one right here. I'm going to go ahead and pick up a tiny bit of that mermaid with it. Bring a little bit more of that mermaid in. Grab a little bit of limeade. Clean off my brush with some alcohol. Come back in with just that clean brush. just adding a little bit of that alcohol it gives it a few highlights and I think we'll go with kind of a purplish pink water lily 
So I'm going to grab some of that uh, amethyst. And I have it in my paint tray. I take my brush and I rub it on the side to get some of that ink off. I touch on the paper towel to make sure I don't have too much ink. And I'm going to go ahead and just bring it in. Do my back petal first. Come in and do my other petals on my flower. So I'll give you a fun fact about Claude Monet. He was going to do a art show and he didn't like some of his water lilies. And he actually took a knife and a paintbrush and destroyed his paintings because he wasn't happy with them. So they actually had to postpone his exhibit. So I think as an artist, we can always be very critical of our work. Sometimes it's better to paint it, walk away, and come back and look at it another day. And then if you don't like it, well, wash it down and paint it over. So I'm just bringing in these petals. And the reason I cleaned out the ink when, um, when I started on the petals is I didn't want them to get muddy by, um, by the ink that was already on the page. So that's the reason I did that. I don't want to muddy up my flower. And we're going to go ahead and do the bottom one. This is our reflection down into the water. I'm just bringing those all over. And if you can't tell how much ink you have on your brush, definitely make sure you touch it onto the paper towel. So on our reflection here, the lily pad would be kind of sitting on our flower, sitting on the reflection part. So I don't, I don't bring that petal all the way through. And our reflection doesn't have to be perfect because we are going to smear it a little bit so it looks like a flower. Then we're going to go ahead and clean that purple off of our brush. And I said we were going to go ahead and add a little pink. So I'm going to add Wild Plum. And I'm just taking my ink. I added a little bit of alcohol to this, 99%. Dab it on my paper towel, make sure I don't have too much. And I just want to bring in some nice highlights. I'm not painting the whole flower, but I am painting a a good portion of it. And if I think I got too much, then I can go back and grab a little bit of that amethyst. Kind of liking this flower. I hope you are too.
So again, I'm just kind of highlighting here and there. Not the whole thing, but a good portion of it. And while we're doing that, we'll go ahead and do a reflection. And grab a little bit of that alcohol. And grab a little bit of that alcohol. Put it on the side here. I work out of these little ceramic dishes. I find that they work best for me. The alcohol doesn't climb up them like it does on the plastic. The other thing I like working out of is the antique salt dishes. But I did have a viewer mention about using shot glasses. And you can always pick those up at the thrift store. So I'm kind of liking that. Now what I'm going to do is determine do I want my water lily where it's way open or do I want it closed and you can't see the center? I think we'll go ahead and show you how you put a little bit of center in. So um, in the center of the water lily, it usually has um, a little bit of yellow pollen right here. So we're going to just take some alcohol, dab it in there because we're going to want our yellow to show up. And I'm using dandelion. There we go. And now what we're going to do is go ahead and add our other petals in. So we would have a petal here in the center, but we still want to see our yellow. So what we're going to do is just a partial, just so it comes up. Grab some more of that amethyst. Just bringing our petals up. So it's this side of the flower. We can maybe even bring a petal down this way. Maybe another one here. Grab some more of that amethyst. And as your ink is drying, you want to take a look at it after it's dried a little bit because it does change. So I'm just cleaning my brush down. I'm going to come back in and pick up a little bit more of that wild plum. And even though that these are the outside, I'm going to give them a tiny bit of that pink too. Looks like a pretty happy flower. What do you think? Kind of like that. And I think we'll go ahead and give it a little baby right here. And, whoops, we'll go ahead and clean off our brush and we're going to add a little bit of that pink to our little flower bud. So I'm just grabbing into that pink. Bring that over. And we need a reflection on him. 
could be a little boy, could be a little girl, huh? I'm gonna add just a little more of that purple in here. Clean my brush down. Gonna go ahead and pick up some of that wild plum. Okay, kind of like that. And I think we should do one up in the air. How about maybe about right here? Maybe a little bit of an angle. We could even do it to where it's starting to open, but not quite all the way. There we go. I'll go ahead and add a little bit of that pink. I'm going to clean down my brush. Grab a little bit of that pink. And I added just a tiny bit of alcohol to it. Tap it down on my paper towel, make sure I don't have too much. Grab a little more pink. I'm just making these a little bit bigger so it looks like it's opening or at least starting to. All right, so now we're going to want to bring that down here so we have a reflection. We have it a little bit on an angle, and I don't so much worry about cleaning out the ink down here or up here because it's a small portion where here I would have a lot of green back there that I'm pulling up through the flower. So that's why I am taking and cleaning it out when I do the flower and not worrying about it so much when I'm doing this. But you can if you want. Go in and pull it out. I'm going to go ahead and put some petals in. And I like this pink much better than that one, so I will add a little bit of pink to that one. Bring the purple to the sides. I'm going to go ahead and clean my brush down a little bit more and get some more of that pink and put it up in this one. It doesn't have to be perfect. If you look at the flowers out there, none of them are perfect. There we go, I like that. So now we need a stem. And for our stem, go ahead and pick up some of this mermaid, a little bit of denim, dab it off on our paper towel. I'm just gonna bring to where it would be connected to the flower and bring it down. Now we're going to have to stay under the lily pad. It's our reflection so we're not real concerned about it. 
and it would be under our petals. Even though that's a reflection, we're going to just put it under the flower because it's going under the flower right here. Now over here, we're going to work on this a, just a tiny bit more. Like it has the little, little lily pads. And that can come over to the flower that's the reflection in the water. So don't necessarily have to worry about it. And this is a reflection here too. So if we want to come over there a little, we can. I'm just kind of filling this in a little. I like it a little bit better, like it sitting on some green big old lily pad. I don't have a lot of ink on my brush, just a little bit. Come in and grab just a tiny bit more. I don't want too much. Grab a little bit of that mermaid, a little bit of denim. I kind of like that. I want to darken this up just a tiny bit, I think. And it's okay to go back over your inks. It actually gives some really nice, really nice effects. So I'm going to clean my brush down and I want to go ahead and add in a little bit of water on our reflection. So I'm just taking my fan brush. I'm cleaning it down in the alcohol, but it's nice and wet. And then I dry it down, but it's still wet. And I dried it a little too much. So I just want to pull the ink across. I want to be careful not to hit the lily pad. If I hit it, I'll just come back over it with the paintbrush. So you can see I had a little too much alcohol on there, but it's okay. I'm not going to worry about it. I'm going to actually use that to my advantage and just kind of blend it a little bit more. Pick up a little bit of that mermaid and bring that over. Just so it looks like it's in the water. Grab a little more mermaid on my fan brush. I want this to look like it's the reflection, so I'm just kind of pulling that over a little. And I don't want that to stop right there like that. So I'm going to pull it over. And if I get my lily pad, then I just got to touch it up a little. It looks pretty good. Add it just a more little tiny mermaid to my brush. I want to smear this flower just a little down here because that's your reflection. Just want to be careful not to add too much ink or too much alcohol because you don't want to totally smear it. Just enough so it looks like it's in the water. And I think we will go back and just add a little bit to those lily pads. Pick up a little mermaid, a little denim.
pick up a little bit of that limeade. I'm going to add a little limeade to this one too. Clean off my brush. It's just a clean brush with some alcohol on it. Just kind of work my lily pad. I kind of like that. I think I want to add just a tiny bit of pink to this one though. Just a little just a little bit of clean alcohol on my brush. Just to brighten it up a little bit. Take my fan brush. I just want to smear it a little bit. You get the light reflecting on the water there. If you have a place in your area to go see the water lilies, well, Spring is right around the corner. They're beautiful to look at. Go out and take some photos. Just add in a tiny bit of that limeade. And a little bit of mermaid. Touch of alcohol. And I kind of like that. Well, I hope this tutorial was helpful to you. And I hope, hope you pull out your inks and, uh, and get painting. And maybe you can create one of your own water lilies. They're uh, lots of fun to make. You just pull, pull just a little more color. Remember I said when the ink dries down, it does dry a little bit different. So take a glance at it. And even if uh, you glance at it the next day and you think it should have a little more color, go ahead and add a little more color. And I'm just working with some alcohol on my brush. That's all there is. A little bit of alcohol. Just pulling a little bit of that color out. Gives it some highlights. Go ahead and add just a little bit of purple in there. Make it darker, closer, where it connects. And I love this pink. Looks real good with the purple. Add just a tiny bit. Well, kind of like that. What do you think? So if this tutorial was helpful to you, please give me a thumbs up. And that lets me know that you would like to see more of my tutorials. And again, you can see more of my artwork on Facebook or Instagram. And I think we're going to go ahead and leave it right there. So again, thanks for joining me. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. And that's all I need from you to know that, um, that you want me to keep making videos for you. 
So again, happy painting and have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.